We say we can do better, but we'll never do it. We say we wanna see change, but we'll never wanna step into it. Welcome back to the vlogs. Uh, vlog 13, 14? 14, I think. I should probably know this. Lockdown week three, I think it is. So this week on the vlog, we're talking about how to start and how to kick off your own sustainable merch or clothing, whether it's for another business or you want to start a whole clothing brand yourself. We're definitely not saying that this is the the way to do it or the best way to do it. This is just the way that we've done it. So, but these are real lessons that we've learned along the way uh, building a business in Australia. So, uh, we're happy to share them with you. So we'll talk about that more in depth out at the shed. Hey. Uh, Welcome back to the shed. I haven't been out here in a while, so it's been about two or three weeks or however, however long lockdown has been. Um, how he's been doing the orders out here, packing all the orders, so he's taking all the podcast gear back down to Christo Road, so he's running the podcast out of there, which is a great idea too. And I think he's recording one today, actually. All right, so we're talking about sustainable clothing. How to get your own sustainable merch, whether it's for a business that you already have or you just want a couple of t-shirts for a touch football team or if you want to start a complete brand altogether, I'm just going to give you a couple of really easy steps on how to get started and I just want to break it into probably three main parts. The first one is how to actually sell it or where to sell it online, how to make that easy for you. Second is why sustainable clothing, there's heaps of options out there that are probably cheaper than sustainable clothing. So we're just gonna talk about why you should actually use sustainable clothing options. And the third one is how to find a supplier. Um, that one's probably the most value to most people because uh, we get heaps of questions about that all the time. All right, so selling your product. It's all well and good to have a bunch of stock or great quality products, useless if you don't have anywhere to sell them. So we use Shopify. Shopify is pretty much your online storefront that's a bunch of different website builders and everything to use wix uh, webflow wordpress shopify is by far the easiest it's got all these website design templates that you can just use and plug your own stuff into that looks great it's easy to set up easy to design easy to customize and learn how to customize it's super easy to integrate with Facebook and Instagram or any other social channels that you want to integrate it with. Really important as well, it's really easy to optimize for mobile. So when you go into your Shopify store and you're designing it, always optimize for mobile first and then look at optimizing for desktop after that because easily over 80% of your customers are going to be using the mobile website instead of the desktop. And finally, it's pretty cheap to get started. It's about $45 a month in Australian dollars. Second thing is why use sustainable clothing? Um, I'm only gonna briefly touch over this. So I don't wanna preach on it too hard, but I do think it's a really important step for you to have within a business, um, especially if you're looking long-term, uh, three to five years in the future. Sustainable clothing, I just think it's, it's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be really important that that's a step in your process. And if you can beat everyone else to it, then you know, you're just that little bit in front and it's gonna help you massively. So the fashion industry's been branded kind of as like the second biggest polluter in all of the world, in all of the industries in the world. It's been branded that because of its massive emissions that it gives out, the overuse of chemicals within the fashion industry and within manufacturing, the waste from fashion itself, uh, especially all the plastic or synthetic fashion that just gets wasted every year, thrown out after a couple of wears, and the amount of water that he uses. He uses way, way too much water um, for just about every fabric. Good news though, there's easy ways around this. Organic cotton and recycled polyester are very quickly taking over the fashion industry. I think it's where most of brands are gonna start moving to. Organic cotton is grown without the use of the harmful pesticides and, and insecticides, all those chemicals that are terrible for not only people, but the environment that it's grown in. It uses way less water and it causes much less emissions compared to conventional cotton. And recycled polyester is just a great way to give second life uh, to plastics that would otherwise just become waste and are gonna use, it uses a lot less energy to make uh, compared to virgin polyester. But anyway, let's get to the important one. This is the question that we get asked, Harry and I, pretty much all the time by people that we've never met is, who's your supplier? It's always a question that people want to jump straight to. Um, it took us a really long time to find all of our suppliers. We've used a couple of different ones, uh, but I'm going to give you two really awesome resources 
to get you started. First one is called The Common Objective. This is a great website for you to learn about sustainable clothing, to learn about environmental impacts of the fashion industry, and to find suppliers. Um, they've got a search button up there. They've got all these different certified suppliers um, that have their own sustainable focuses. It's got contact details for them. You can link you to the website. It's just a great way to find a sustainable supplier on your own. It's how we found the supplier that we started with. And if you can't be bothered to do all that work, you can just go straight to OCC Apparel. Um, that's the supplier that we've started with. Look, their website is a little bit confusing. Their pricing is almost impossible to try and wrap your head around, but they've got such a great range of brands and white labels and such a great range of printing techniques for many different budgets. So, so it's just a great place to start off with. Um, they've got a great range there. If you do go to OCC Apparel, make sure you tell them Bandwagon sent you. But if all of that's a bit too overwhelming and you can't really be bothered to go through the website or you just don't understand it, because I've had a couple of friends, I've pointed them in that direction and they just come back to me saying, like they you couldn't wrap their head around that website. So just hit us up, hit me up at Bandwagon Australia on Instagram or Facebook, or just message me on Thomas Cronin. That's on Instagram too. I'm more than happy to help in terms of your pricing or letting you know which tees are the, probably the best for your budget and which printing techniques that you want to be using for whatever design you're looking to, to print out. We helped a couple of other businesses up here in Newcastle, um, a gin bar up here, Saints, and just another office space as well. So it's obviously not our main focus. Our main focus is the brand itself, but it is something that we have been thinking about moving into um, a bit more wholesale supply, just because we've had quite a lot of interest around it. So feel free to hit me up. I'm more than happy to chat with you and, and help out. Um, and hopefully get you some sustainable merch so but that's it for this vlog I'm gonna be doing a couple more vlogs kind of like this uh, very business focused just because there's not a lot else to do in lockdown or there's not a lot else for us to to vlog in lockdown especially while we're in between collections at the moment so if you want to see more about the business lessons that we've learned from starting up and in our journey make sure you follow along and as always thank you for watching bye